Are these strange noises from Mars to blame for the fact that we will never colonize the planet? In this video, we listen to the original audio together and I promise you, it will really blow your mind. So be sure to stay tuned until the end and if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thank you friends and welcome. Mars, a dusty red and barren world with not much going on. That's probably the image many of us have of our neighboring planet. Wrong, because the Mars rover has now sent audio recordings of gigantic sandstorms that can be so violent that they obscure the entire surface when viewed from space. Check out this recording of Mars from NASA's reconnaissance orbiter, which shows the red planet in short bursts. Under normal circumstances, we can see the planet's surface from space due to the lack of a dense atmosphere, but a violent sandstorm can cause the entire planet to be covered in a dusty shell. And I have another incredible shot for you. Here we see the Utopia Planitia lowlands near the north pole of Mars. On the right of the picture, you can see a huge dust storm front threatening to overrun the entire plane. This force of nature is insane. And there are always more localized storms, so-called dust devils, a kind of mini whirlwind that stirs up a lot of Martian sand. The Spirit and Opportunity rovers have already sighted such dust devils, and this even had a positive effect as the two rovers were cleaned of annoying dirt by the storms. Now, however, it has been possible to record the sounds of such a dust devil live for the first time. The Perseverance rover bravely drove through such a storm and pricked up its ears and microphones. I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Here are the original audio recordings from Mars. Okay, you saw that joke coming. Sorry. But now the real sounds from Mars. Unbelievable, isn't it? The fact that we are technically able to record the sounds of a hurricane on an alien planet is totally fascinating to me by combining photos, wind pressure, temperature and dust measurements, Perseverance was even able to determine the speed of the mini Martian tornado, which was 19 kilometers per hour. Researcher Dr. Naomi Murdoch, who was involved, said, when we listen to the microphone data, we can hear a strong gust of wind, then silence when we are in the eye of the vortex, and then another strong gust of wind when we come out. That's how we know it passed directly over the rover's head. And by the way, if you're worried about poor little Perseverance, don't be. First of all, Perseverance isn't small at all. Take a look at this picture here, where we can see the size of the Mars rover compared to a female explorer. These things are surprisingly big. Or the scientist is just very, very small. Secondly, storms on Mars are generally not as dangerous as on Earth. From the data from Perseverance, the research team was able to determine that the dust devil had a diameter of at least 25 meters, which is about 10 times the size of the rover, and was at least 118 meters high. So we're talking about a violent whirlwind that would send us flying through the air on Earth. Fortunately, however, the Martian atmosphere has only 1% of the density of the Earth's atmosphere, so the wind pressure of storms on the red planet is much lower. This is why the dust devil did not damage Perseverance, but merely rolled over it. So it was a bit like a gentle dust massage for the rover. Perseverance is the first Mars rover with microphones. It's part of the so-called SuperCam instrument, and we were really lucky to catch the sounds of this dust devil because the microphone is only on for three minutes a day. So it really was an absolute stroke of luck. Now, some of you may object angrily. Noises on Mars? What's that good for, dude? Well, there's a lot to suggest that in the not too distant future, humans will set foot on Mars and will probably even establish a permanently inhabited base there at some point. Call me a hopeless dreamer, but I'm firmly convinced that the first Mars colony will be established in our lifetime. And of course, it's essential to research the conditions the Martian settlers will face now. And the weather there, and especially the sandstorms, are of course an absolutely essential criterion to know in order to increase the chances of survival on this new world. Speaking of which, please let me know in the comments whether you would move to Mars as a settler if you had the chance. If NASA or Elon Musk were to call you now and offer you a new life on Mars, would you be in? If not, why not? I'll answer as much as I can, I promise. Maybe we should hurry up with the colonization of Mars because volcanologists have made a frightening discovery regarding the Yellowstone volcano. 
An eruption of this supervolcano could actually endanger the entire human race and completely change the climate. Find out exactly what the researchers have discovered and whether we need to worry in the video below. Be sure to check it out and if you want to support the channel, don't forget to visit the Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.